Ah, hey, how's it going? Uh, Sir Simmons here with another scratch lesson. Uh, let's take a look. Man, God, so excited about this. <laughs> All right. So I'll do a little screen share. Oh, good time. That's fun. So here I have my scratch game. Um, today I did a little bit of a of a background uh flipperoo. So I made a little animated background using backgrounds and not a sprite. It's almost easier to use a sprite, but I did it on the background just to show you how. And I want you to integrate this into what you're doing. So think about this background that I have here right now. Maybe I could have a little like person peek their face here and then go away. So for that, you would just have the background sit there and after a couple of seconds, go to a new background, the exact same thing. You duplicate it, but have a little face in there and then flip back. What I did for mine is I have a fire hydrant. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna do a big screen to get the full effect. Okay, so here we go. We have Paper Root by Sir. Then my character, hello. It starts to explain as a paper root. And then starts to say, we've got to walk down the sidewalk, use the arrow key. So it's telling me I'm on a sidewalk. Hmm, I'm going to go on the road. I'm feeling silly. Um, yeah. Oh, I better get out of the road. So I'm going to go up here. Whew. Got to be careful about that, you know? Don't want to be in the road. Jeez, that's bad news. So here we go. So here is this animated level I did. And what this is, is I just have a couple of backgrounds switching back and forth, and then it stops and it leaves this puddle there. Okay. And then just like with my other backgrounds, when I hit the little black thing I put there, it sends a broadcast to switch back. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So let's take a little bit of a look at my code that I have in there for that. Okay. So we got to go to backdrops. And so most of the coding you're going to do is going to be with sprites. It's just way easier. But once in a while, you might want to do a little bit of stuff in your background. So for most of my stuff, I have a I have a broadcast and it just switches to a background, right? Street six, switch to background, backdrop seven, street, when I receive street four, switch to backdrop five. So I have all these broadcasts in there, right? When I start the game, start with this backdrop. Remember, you always want that too. When you start the game, what backdrop you want to start with, very important. Um, get a little piece out of there. Okay, so this is the code where I make the fire hydrant thing go. When I receive street three, I switch the background, drop four. So that's just the fire hydrant. Wait one second, and then I'm repeat this three times. It goes nine, 10, 11, 12. And I put wait 0.2 seconds. This is 0.2 seconds. Okay. So you could change, you can make that faster or slower, depending on what you want. So this happens three times, and then it switches to backdrop 13. So let's take a look at what those look like. Okay. So backdrop four is this one. It's not this number three. It's the thing that says backdrop four. Okay. Then it switches. Um, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. So, bu, 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 bu. oh no, yeah. So this guy right here, backdrop four. And then this one, it's got this one. It's got this one. You got to make sure that you, you tell these to go in the order that you want them to be in. So it switches to all these. So it goes, it starts, starts with this one. Then it goes to this one. Then it goes to this one. Then it goes to this one. And then the last one that I have it sitting is just a puddle, okay? Um, the puddle one is this one right here. So even though this, this says like three, four, five, six, it's this number that you want to pay attention to. This is the actual name of it. Okay. So it's back on 13. So that's the one that I leave it on. All right. That's the important part there. The reason I leave it is my fire hydrant spraying water and it stops, but there's still going to be a puddle. The easiest way to do an animating background is you have your first background like this, you right click on it and then you duplicate it and it makes another one. So now you have the, you have the exact same background. So now you can change a little bit of the art on this one. And this one still stays the same. Okay. I am going to erase this one because I don't, that was just my example. So that is basically it. Okay. That's basically it to do it in some kind of animation in the background. What can you do? Really? You're only limited by uh, where your imagination goes. You do all kinds of cool things. 
Usually most of our animation is gonna be done with sprites, okay? But once in a while, you might want something to do with background, okay? Alrighty, that's Sir Simmons. I'm all done here and have a silly rest of your day.